welcome to Crafty Purple Dragon Channel. I have an unboxing, which I'm going to use my knife rather than my scissors, I think. Get that. So, <clears throat> I can see through the tape that this is from Home Fun. Home Fun, Home Fun. And the box is entirely covered with tape. So instead of using a mailing bag, they've decided to encapsulate their box in tape. So I'm not going to try and remove all that because, wow. So I'm just going to try and slip through it and get to the box opening end uh, which way around is it I'm not sure if it's that or where are you opening here I think maybe There we go. So I guess that this has got the three items that I ordered in here. See it's a bit chock a block in there, so get the canvases out start with. Alright, I'm just going to release these and let them relax while we sort out other stuff. Don't grieve. Ding. I don't like these plastic bands. <laughs> I'd rather they use tape. Because that's now left a, a mark around. Right, so it's on a narrow th foam core. So I'm just going to sort of try and let them open up a little bit and then leave them on one side while we sort out the other stuff. Let's dump that out. Okay, so that box is now empty. So there's three kits in here, so we've got three of the white boat style tool kits, uh, one bag, that's got one bag in it, is it? Looks like one bag, wow, thanks for that, tweezers, wax, multi-placer, So it's the same with them all, but they've been a bit more generous with the bags in that one. And again, that looks like it's just got one or two bags. So, some more tool kits. Put them over there. Okay, so... We have... Let's have a look. What should we do first? Right, we'll do it. This order. Oh, and that happens to be the one that I've got the page open on in my book. And this is this one, which I thought was nice. 
bright butterflies I've called it we'll see what they call it in a bit <laughs> uh, double O four nine eight in fact let's see if we can see what they call it uh, where's me I might not see it through uh, Translate to English. I can't enter the text. What's wrong with camera? Why is the camera thing not working? Oh, Chinese. I need to put it on. Alright, okay. <coughs> I think I have to pull it out of the bag, so let's do that. So there's an inventory sheet, which is great. Love an inventory sheet. Alright, come on, tell me what you're calling it. I don't know why it keeps trying to... Right, hold on a minute. Let's just put this down to block out the... It's trying to read my cutting mat for some reason. I don't want to read that. I think it's a bit mushed. We'll have a look on the canvas in a bit. So, this is a 30 by 40, it's a full round, it's 35 colours. It was ordered on the 8th of May, dispatched on the 9th and it arrived on the 17th of May. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Right, so... Let's have a quick mooch. So I like that they have the um let's just zoom in a little little bit the white striping on the packaging so that you can actually read the DMC number, so that's good. So seven four five now on the inventory sheet this is the type of inventory sheet that we like we've got a number so that we can count and tell how many colors there are it gives us the canvas code it gives us the dmc number it tells us how many beads we need for that number and then it tells us how many bags of beads they've sent us I really like this kind of inventory sheet. It gives you all the information that you would need. So, 550. We've got two bags. 745. One bag. 547. One bag. 208. Two bags. 413. One bag. 340. Three bags. 762. One bag. 646. One bag. 318. One bag, <coughs> three, three, three. Two bags, three, three, five, four. One bag, three, eight, six, five. Three, eight, six, five. I can't find it. Last one. Do I go down? One bag, three, eight, eight. Two bags, three, seven, three, eight, three, seven. Two bags, three, seven, six, six. Two bags, three, eight, two, two. One bag, seven, nine, two. One bag, six, one, two. One bag, seven, nine, six. Five bags, seven, nine, nine. Two bags, 
seven nine eight three five <coughs> one five eight one five nine nine six three bags three six oh nine two bags uh now just to point to note about this now i knew that was nine nine six but it could easily have been nine six six and the way to tell is if you get a bag of beads that it's clear which way around it is and look at which side the fold is and which side the seam is you can then tell which way around the others are so any that are ambiguous you know that the fold is on that side, the seam is on that side, therefore that's the right way around. Therefore that number is 996 and not 966. A little FYI. 803. Six bags. 3607, one bag. Again, we've got an ambiguous one. No, I know that it that way around. 966, this one. One bag. 917. One bag, eight two seven, two bags, eight two six, one bag, eight two four, three bags, eight two three, six bags, three six oh eight, one, three seven five six, one, nine three nine, eight two. Right, that's all I've got left. So I'll just double check. Everything's been checked off apart from nine three nine which it has so I should have 32 bags which clearly I haven't I have one two three four five six plus two and it's telling me I need six thousand three hundred and eighty three beads which is another reason why this type of inventory sheet is brilliant because I can surmise that each of these bags has a thousand in because there's nothing to tell me one two three four five six six thousand and then these will have around about 200 between 170 and 200 beads ish depending on the company so that will cover my 383 so I can check those off and that's the beads checked so let's put this away and we'll have a look at the canvas if I can pull it off the roll so if you notice these beads aren't coded with the canvas number on the bags so we need to make sure we keep this inventory sheet with it so that we can identify what canvas they're from because I store my beads separate from my canvases which is why the code is always important okay so that's the drills for that what did I do with the canvases Let's see if I can find uh, what number are we after? R00498. Let's get rid of that. R00498. Right, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Get rid of the phone call. <coughs> right. I don't think this is the correct one but it looks like they've been put on 
individually and not together. Okay. Sugar. So it's not that one. Right, these two together. Got a code anywhere. R double O four nine eight. Right, so it's the inside one? Okay. So I believe this is the canvas. No, it isn't. Oh my god. I believe this is the canvas. Right, let's have a look. Okay. So it's a portrait. So. It's on, it's got one single sheet of paper. I'm just going to turn it round that way. No, I'll do it this way. Open the, um, take the cover sheet off. So, like I said, there's one. Oh, flipping batteries. Right, let's try that again. So, the key is mostly letters and numbers. canvas looks clearly printed it does have the circles on which I'm not a fan of I'd rather it just had the symbol but you know Oh, I need to find my tape measure because I want to measure it. Uh, now then, mm. I had lost it, but I believe I relocated it. put it somewhere easier to access when I found it but you know okay we'll do that in a minute so the canvas looks good there's no particular issues there's a few rivers I don't know if you can see that but I hope that they'll be okay uh, they are sort of all the way down the picture you can see but there's no sort of massive dents or anything so uh, let me oh I need to get Google Translate on it don't I let me just lift up this bottom end release it out But uh, just from the lift and reapply the cover sheet, we've got a perfectly flat canvas. So that's brilliant. Now I want to just check with Google Translate if it will let me see if these codes will read and see what they've called it if we can because it wasn't reading the doesn't seem to want to read that does it 
how weird. Let's do this again. Stop it getting confused with my cutting mat. It's not actually... Are you working, you stupid app? Let's try uh, reopening it. We can all have a bad day. Nope. Alright, spent enough time on that. It's not having it, so... It's going to be stuck being called Bright Butterflies is the name that I've given it. So that's that one. That cost £6.81. 30 by 40, full round, 35 colours from Home Fun on AliExpress. Let's just double check. Picture size is... Yep, almost 40. Almost 30. So that's picture size. So that's good. So that's that one. Bright butterflies. Okay. Next. To find somewhere to put this. Where it's kind of flattish. Okay, what should we do next? Let's do this one. Uh, I will do this one. Because it's next in my book. Seventeen five nineteen. this arrived. So this is a Four Seasons picture which I really like really like this the idea is that you can spin it round to display whichever season you're in so framing that might be a, a bit of an issue because standard frames just come with you know two usually they'll do a portrait and a landscape orientation uh, hanger this is a really big bag so this code is A one treble zero one three six Three, five. Again, home fun. This is a 40 by 40 full square. Cost nine pounds and nine pence. Quite sure why it has such a big bag. There are a lot of drills, but they'd have fit in that other size bag. Okay. Forty two colours. Wow. Forty two colour. So again this with the inventory we've got the colour number. Symbol, DMC number, amount of beads needed, and then the number of bags that we should have. So let's do an inventory. Again, we've got the contrasting stripe on the bag so that we can read the number. 801, we should have 7, 2, 4, 6, 7, 1. Nine three eight five nine seven seven three eight one seven one six seven seven two three three four zero one 
Okay, so everything's here. It's square picture, and I've got square beads, so that's good. Okay, put these back. I really don't think they needed such a big bag. Let's see if I can compact this because this won't fit in my drill storage very easily at this size. I need to keep it more along the lines of this size. Just have a comparison there. Row it. It's easier to accommodate width than, rather than length. No smutty giggles, please. Uh, right. Okay. And I'll just try Google Translate, but it's not really playing with me, is it? Uh, Need a background. Come on. Four Seasons House Landscape. Wonder what was wrong with those other symbols why it wasn't reading them. Uh, I just called it Four Seasons because I haven't got anything else, so I don't need to distinguish it. I haven't got anything similar, so this in with the beads and let's do it like that okay So this is A1003163 and this is I believe the canvas that goes with it so it's a 40 by 40 uh, nope that's not it <laughs> is 
this one. So this is the canvas that I believe goes with it. It's a 40 by 40. Let's flatten it out. It's split in two. The cover sheet is split in two. Let's try lifting this edge. This is really curly. I think this is the one that was nearest to the core, foam core, which was a narrow foam core. So it has taken on quite a bit of a curl. I think there's been a bit of an overlap with the adhesive. That's winter there that we can see. Right, I'm just going to put that back down to try and help make it easier to open up the other side. We've got glue outside of the edge of the canvas, I notice. Right, let me just put that down, spin it around. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. So let's have a look at this canvas. Now it's a little bit flatter. Oh gosh, that looks like a lot of confetti to me. Confetti central, guys. Now, fortunately, it doesn't really matter which way around I um, have this because it's the right way around for me, it's the right way around for you. So, codes wise, well, hold on, let's have a look at the canvas itself. Seems okay. Got any rivers or anything? Can't see any. I think it's okay. Uh, codes wise, we've got letters and numbers and keyboard symbols. Yeah. Excuse me. I'll show you the codes if I can. And then I'll show you the drill field. It's a little bit messy. Come on, camera. Sort yourself out. looks okay they have used white symbols on a dark background and dark symbols on a light background for the most part there's that there's always that debate oh I can see a few rivers here but it's nothing major there's always that debate about whether or not some of the lighter dark shades would have benefited from a white symbol rather than a black symbol but you know I think it's subjective I know people that don't like white symbols you know I mean a light pad should help sort it out anyway so now then this is overlapping or not lapping just take this off because it's annoying me. Hang on, we're a bit over the edge this side so make 
make sure it's not overlapping but there's no gap and I think that's overlapping girl I'm not quite covered up all the adhesive so that's the canvas so the um, adhesive does expand outside of the picture area but not massively canvas looks all right it looks clear good so I look forward to doing that one so a quick check on size but it should be 40 by 40 40 by 40 so that's correct so this is the four seasons picture from home fun on aliexpress it costs nine pounds and nine pence it's 40 by 40 full square ordered on the 8th of may dispatched on the 9th and received on the 17th of may Okay, and we've got one more from Hom Fun. Which is let me find it. This one which I thought was cute. Two owls. Owl couple, I've called it. So we'll look at the drills first. So their lovely inventory sheet tells us this far because. And it arrived on the 17th of May. So, colour number, symbol, DMC, number of beads needed, number of bags provided. Oh, there's some lovely colours in here. They're gorgeous. Look at them. Lovely pastels. Aren't they lovely? Okay, so nine four five two four six eight ten eleven in case I didn't say this is a full square nine four five eleven nine four five three three four eight Oh I'm hungry. Three, three, four, eight. Which will be because it's nearly lunchtime. Uh, three, three, five, four, seven, two, four, six, seven, three, zero, seven, eight, three, three, eight, three, six. All of these colours. Five, five, three, two, four, four, three, two, six, one, six, three, 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 three,
three, seven one two, four, seven four one and seven four two, one of each, five five four, three, seven eighteen and seven twenty, one of each, seven four six and eight three four, seven four six, one, eight three, two, sorry, one, six six six, one, three three six three, one, one five four, one, three eight three four, one, two oh nine, two, three eight two two two. and then we should have everything except one. Yep, which is three eight six five only three thousand and thirty one. Three thousand and up there. So that goes. Everything there. It's square. Is it square? Yep. And I do have square beads, so that's good. Okay, so instead of struggling to put this in after, I'm gonna put it in first. Brainwave, it's only taken several months to figure that out. Lol. Okay. So. Quite a lot of single ones on this one. I do love these colours though. They're lovely pastel colours. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, I didn't clock the um, canvas code on this, so I'll have a look in a minute. Uh, I'm getting rubbish mixed up with this now. Chuck these single ones in without the bands. Go away, bands. Right, is that everything? So, so this is a double zero three four zero a double zero three four zero. Let's have a look at the canvas. This is a 30 by 40, it's my favourite size at the moment. So, I like it because I think, I'm depending on the picture that you get, it's a reasonable size for detail. But it's not too big, uh, which is why I've settled on 30 by 40. Okay, so the codes are capital letters. We've got keyboard symbols and a few other symbols like the zero with the slash through it and We've got like a double plus sign there, which I've not seen that before, along with a plus sign, and they're of similar colours. Uh, we've got a euro sign and a pound sign. Mm. So it's one cover sheet. This is a square. So let's, uh, A00340, that's correct. We've already got some fraying on the edge of the canvas.
Oh, it's so lovely. Isn't it cute? Let's see if I can turn it around. So, the canvas looks okay, I think. There's a few little sort of little tiny creases. Not creases, little tiny rivers, rivulets. But other than that, I think it's okay. It's a square, so it's on a grid. I don't see any white symbols with this one. Then again, it is quite a light picture. Oh, no, there are some down here where it gets a bit darker. But the drill field is printed nice and clearly. You probably wouldn't need a light pad with this, actually, because it is quite a light picture. Isn't it cute? Cute face! So, that's good. I like it. Let's see if we can translate what it's called. Uh, hold on a sec. Come on. Inch? Owl. That's it. It's just called Owl. <laughs> right. No revelations there then. Uh, what a sec. So. Lift up this end, straighten it out. Adhesive over the edge again. But the printing on the canvas is really nice. Nice picture. I like it. I like it. That's why I got it. Because <laughs> I like it. I'll double check the size, but I expect it will be 30 by 40. No worries. Picture size. So, what is it? Yep. By 30. So that's that. So that's how I'm fun. That one was £6.81 for the owl couple. It's a 30 by 40 full square. Ordered on the 8th of May and dispatched the following day and it arrived on the 17th. So less than 10 days for that. So that was good. £6.81. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed looking at those pictures. Thank you very much for joining me. It's very much appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you're notified when I do release future videos. If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.